Hello and welcome. I'm John with the Fossil Channel, and today I'm going to be going over the Powerfilm Solar Portable Charger. It's a 10 watt charger, it's the F15 600 model. It charges at 600 milliamps by 15.4 volts. The unit comes in this box here, and it comes with one accessory, which is the RA 2 12 volt female cigarette, cigarette light adapter. So you can see that here with the Delphi connector. The unit uses Delphi connectors uh, as its primary way of interfacing. So if you're looking to customize your unit, you're going to have to go on eBay or another site and buy uh, Delphi connectors in order to modify your unit. I bought this off eBay for about $7. It's a 18 gauge wire. You can buy a variety of different gauges for your uses and needs. So starting out with the size dimension here, we have a dimension of unfold it, it's going to be 23.7 by 21 inches and fold it, what you see right now in its current form factor is going to be 10.5 inches lengthwise, 3.5 widthwise and depth is going to be 1.3 which is the thickness here as you can see. The weight is going to be 0.73 pounds which is very lightweight for a 10 watt solar panel and comparatively to other models on the market that I know of in 2019 this is the most efficient of the bunch in terms of the amperage and the voltage output and the wattage so a very straightforward unit I'm going to deploy it here so you can see some of the panels it has two rows of six panels solar film panels here You might be able to see some of that on the camera. You can actually see the whole row is the first row here and the second here. Um, the cells themselves are very flexible. Uh, the instructions say not to crease this material, um, but it is pretty foldable. You can manipulate it and it will contour to whatever um, surface area it's uh, laying on or, or attached to. Um, I'm going to go over and attach the RA-2 module that came with the unit. Just give me a moment here. I'm going to do a little test here with the lights. All right, I have the module attached here, and I'm going to insert a 5 volt uh, USB out, dual output channel adapter, and we're going to see what the voltage looks like just off the two lights that I have on either side of the camera here. Um, we're looking at 4.9 volts right now. So this is a very sensitive solar panel in that on cloudy days like today, you can get a 15 volt input on it from the clouds, just a cloudy, rainy day. Um, I don't know how much amperage you're going to be pushing through at 15 volts, but it can do that. Um, so it's effective. I've used this model for about a year. I have a second one that I've shown in a ham radio go bag video. And it has done a good job of charging um, my battery systems here. Let me go ahead and close this up for a moment. And I'll show you the batteries that I use with this solar panel. So you can get an idea of what maybe you could purchase or something else that could work for you. These are very tight connectors. So they require a little bit of force sometimes to pull off and unattach, which is good. You don't want these slipping out on you. Um, here's the adapter that I mentioned in the beginning. You can make custom adapters for this. Uh, that's a bonus, unlike um, some other brands that I have. Uh, but it works very well. Um, let's go ahead and get the battery here. So this is uh, the Energizer XP8000A. I found this on a YouTube video uh, about a year and a half ago. Another ham radio guy was using the same setup for his QRP rig. And I uh, decided to get that same thing and use it. And it has worked out very well for my uh, summit on the air activations and just emergency portable use. I have a Yesu 817 that I use with this battery. And this solar panel um, charges this just enough to keep me on the air for a couple hours in sunny, pleasant conditions. We're talking about 70 degree weather. You can extend that to like 32 degree all the way up to 90 degree weather. Um, this does... Uh, heat up in the sun obviously as with most solar panels when they get really hot their efficiency uh, transferring energy decreases um, there's a sweet spot so to speak I, uh, to get the most 
uh, energy out of the solar panel in the sun. So uh, keep that in mind. This is this works really well in cloudy and in shady conditions, which is why I like this solar panel versus say like a Goal Zero. That's not to say Goal Zero brand doesn't work well. They do work very well. I've used them for years. I've used a variety of their models, the 3.5 watt, the 7 watt, um, the smart 7 watt panels, and they all work nicely for their units. This one's a little bit different in terms of its toolkit and uh, its modular adaptability um, and the battery banks that you have to buy separately with it. Um, that being said, another battery bank that I use is the iSun Batpack, which um, this cable would plug into the power in DC in, and I would get 15 volts going into here to charge my batteries uh, in at output with uh, 12 13 volts output on the uh, DC side here. So you can charge up your AA batteries with this battery pack. Um, this is a, the ICP Global ISUN Bat Pack. It's about $22 on eBay. Um, you can charge up to 10 AA simultaneously with the solar panel here, or you can charge less at a faster rate. Uh, depends on what you want to do. I use this for my uh, ham radio operations. I find it's a good unit to run a direct 12 volt out. There's no up conversion. It's just straight up 12 plus volts coming out of here even with a, a decent load the only drawback is i can't pit a heavy load on here like i would with this lily with this uh lithium ion battery uh this this has a little bit less load take on it so you you want to do stuff that doesn't draw too much amperage at 12 volt with this battery pack um that being said uh this unit works very well with the power film 10 watt solar panel another thing uh, i want to go over just compare I have another PowerFilm solar product, which I haven't done a review on yet, but I've shown it in my EDC bag video. This is going to be the PowerFilm uh, solar plus uh, USB plus AA battery unit. So what this is, it's the same technology. You'd open it up and it exposes the battery AA unit holder here. And it has a USB output here. And the panel unravels much like the 10 watt and you have mini solar panels here. Uh, I find this is very useful for my small EDC bag kit that I have, and it's very lightweight. Um, but as you can see, one of the differences between the 10 watt and this one is obviously the size difference for one, and two, this comes with an internal attached um, battery bank with it. Uh, you just need two rechargeable nickel metal hydride or nickel metal cadmium batteries, because this can do both types of batteries. Um, with the uh, charger here uh, and then also gives you a USB out whereas this unit you would have to buy an aftermarket uh, USB adapter and even then you don't have a battery bank to use with the solar panel and it's unregulated that's the other key thing uh, the USB here is regulated to 5 volts at 500 milliwatts uh, you can obviously charge your double A's and pop those into another unit like a ham radio unit or a light or something like that and just use this as a AA charger and not even the USB output. Um, so, you know, you get a little bit more flexibility in, in a small size, but the trade-off is the amount of wattage you get and the voltage and the amperage you get with um, something of this size, the 10 watt power foam charger. So whatever uh, your needs are, there are several different types of power foam products you can use uh, on the market as well as Goal Zero and other brands too. So. I just wanted to bring that out and compare it with the 10 watt solar panel. Uh, I've had this, uh, both of these for about a year now, and they work very well out in the sun. I haven't had any issues with anything failing, any solar panels breaking or anything like that. Uh, I generally try to take care of my gear, but I'm, I'm sometimes rough on it too. So it will hold up. Uh, the waterproofing on these is, is, they're not waterproof. They're, you could say they're like sprinkle resistant or, um, light very very light rain resistant or just pretty much you don't want to leave it out in, in running rain because i haven't seen anywhere in the literature where it says that this unit is um water resistant to the weather elements i would presume that it has some kind of resistancy because of the uh, weather sealed connectors on here that would seem to suggest that maybe they wanted they would expect these things to be connected outdoors for a period of time uh, that being said, I wouldn't want to leave this out in the rain or anything like that. Maybe in like a, a sprinkle or something like that, but nothing too serious. 
uh, I don't want to damage my electrical gear for anything that's not rated for the wet weather. So maybe moisture resistant, I'll say at this point, uh, in my experiences anyway. Uh, I've used this in anywhere from 70 degree to 90 degree weather in pretty hot sunlight. This can get pretty hot up to like probably about 115 degrees or more. Uh, still works pretty well, uh, especially charging my lithium ion battery pack or my uh, AA battery pack here. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have to say about the uh, unit. It works very well. It's $60 on Amazon. And if you're looking for a decent, uh, strong output solar panel, like 10 watts or more uh, at 600 milliamps by 15.4 volts, uh, around that range, this would be uh, an ideal candidate. And the uh, fact that you can purchase these for about anywhere from 7 to $12 in packs of 2 to 4 on eBay, and if you have some soldering skills and crimping skills, um, you can make some interesting connections uh, to use with the solar panel here. So you can kind of customize your own kit. It may cost you a little bit more than, say, like a standard package from like Goal Zero, like their Nomad 7 series. Uh, they come in different types of kits and tiers. One of the kits gives you like a, a AA battery pack and the solar panel, so you're ready to go right out the door. This is a little bit more uh, kind of customize it yourself and um, figure it out. I mean, you can customize your, uh, your Goal Zero kits too as well, uh, but you know, this is more of a kind of build it yourself kind of deal. That being said, uh, that's my general overview of the Powerfilm 10 watt F15-600 solar panel. Um, if you're looking to buy it, I recommend it. It works pretty well for my needs and it might for, be for yours. Thanks for watching. I'm John with the Fossil Channel.